We need to challenge our beliefs about the things that we are afraid of so that we're not bound by those energies anymore, so that we can take our power back from those energies. And that's what I would love for us to talk about today. Let us start with understanding fear. I have explained before many times that there are only two thought systems. One that is in alignment with life-giving energies. And then there's a thought system that is in disalignment with life-giving energies. These are the energies that drain us. These are the energies that debilitate life. These are the energies of fear. And so it's anything that is debilitating our own capacity to stand with confidence in the present moment. So we can call this thought system an illusion because it's ultimately not real. We have just given this thought system our belief, which is why we need to start with challenging our beliefs and give more value to the thought system that allow us to feel empowered and safe and secure and present and welcoming of new experiences without aversion, without the past, without bringing the past to the present, which protracts and continues to create the same experience over and over and over again. And so these two thought systems are part of our humanity. So they require our respect and our understanding. And the awakening process is to become conscious of our unconscious mind. There's a quote by Carl Jung that I like that it says, as long as we do not make the unconscious conscious, it will run our lives and we will call it fate. And so therefore, we need to shine light to our own beliefs that although at one point may have kept us safe or may have kept our parents or our community safe, they no longer serve us. We respect those thought systems, but with kindness and gratitude, thank you very much. I now shine light and wisdom to you and I aspire to awaken from distortions of the mind that no longer serve me. So this is under the umbrella of understanding our fears. There is a video that I created lifting the veil of the mind or something like that. I encourage you to check that out because I go into details as to these two thought systems and our beliefs as well as our free will. I discussed that in that video, so I invite you to go check that out. So for today, I want to leave you with three antidotes and a couple of added bonuses for freeing ourselves from these debilitating energies that we are afraid of. Number one is to have awareness that it's happening. Know when you're afraid. Know when the energy is present in the present moment because the present moment is the only moment that change can happen. So in the present moment, know when you're afraid. This is part of awareness. Without awareness, we literally go in autopilot. Without awareness, we literally run a program without knowing until we bring the unconscious mind to our conscious awareness, it will run our life and we call it fate. That's what Carl Jung meant. Once we recognize that we are afraid, now we pause with respect and we will breathe and we will hold ourselves with compassion. We're going to accept that that energy is there. If we remember why we feel this way, we're going to forgive. We're going to forgive everyone who contributed to our feeling that way. And we're going to forgive ourselves for having felt that way for all this time. And we're simply going to accept that it's happening. So we acknowledge that it's there. 
with compassion and forgiveness. Now, the third, this one I added new. You may have heard the other two before. The third antidote is to notice what you want to give value to moving forward. I encourage you to give value to what is real and what is true. And so how the heck do we do that? We do that by becoming very clear that there are only two thought systems, one that is life-giving and one that is debilitating, life-depleting. And so how do we identify and discern what's true versus what's not true? Well, for that, I have a few things. Invest in learning truth. Learn from wise teachers. You have the Buddha. You have Jesus. You have Krishna. You have A Course in Miracles. You have Lao Tzu. You have all the philosophers, all the, the wise sages, Ramana Maharshi. Learn from people that are wise and skillful and their truth transcends the barriers of time. Truth can transcend the barriers of time. You could at least consider that they are onto something. And so learn from wise teachers because in investing in bringing wisdom into your awareness, you're going to, by default, Start discerning what sounds like a true thought and what is untrue. And the last thing I want to say about this is gift yourself the generosity that that particular piece of wisdom applies to you. Because the ego will deny that you are whole, that you are complete, that you're not the stories of other people. Like the ego will deny these things that are true. The ego will deny truth. So gift yourself the opportunity to know that you're not an ego. You're not the voice in your head that resists your own greatness, that resists your own healing, that resists being free from suffering. Guilt is one of those energies, which is life depleting. And it's extremely extremely loud in our heads shame is another one extremely sneaky extremely loud very untrue very life depleting very demeaning and it's not who you are gift yourself the generosity to incline the mind towards the truth of who you are investigate and so the bonus that I want to leave you with is learn to meditate, especially in silence, if possible. Clear your mind from all thoughts and simply come to the present moment and focus your attention on your breath, on your body, or on your presence and sustain that as long as you can. And when your mind wanders, come back to your breath or your body or your presence and continue to do that because that on its own is one of the best antidotes to build capacity to become aware of these two forces and discerning between the two. So this is what I teach. This is what I started teaching in 2020 in the Intentional Evolution Intensive. So you can go to my website for MarieRodriguez.com to learn more about that and sign up for my mailing list. I want to leave you with saying that there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Gift yourself the generosity to accept that that applies to you and the curiosity of how that could be possible. And see for yourself. May we all learn to discern what is real and what is not. With kindness and compassion and forgiveness, may we awaken to the truth of who we are. Until next time, namaste.